Hey guys, Uncle Ray. Welcome to another episode of the Crypto Fail Weather. I got five bullet points of why we are not in a bear market for Bitcoin. Now, if you look on that screen, a lot of people think that that might actually be a thing, that Bitcoin might be in a, a bear market. Well, from where I stand, not even close. And if that was a real bear, it'd be extremely skinny. Now, there's a lot of FUD in the market right now, and you are never going to get fear, uncertainty, and doubt from me. I'm going to tell you exactly where I stand, and I'm going to give you the five bullet points of why Bitcoin is not in a bear market. Now, before I do that, please hit the like button. Now, I, the first point is, Right now, the average person that's in the crypto market all have their same thought process. They think that uh, we are probably going to go down and maybe test like 32, 33,000. We might break that, hit 30,000, and there's a chance we go to 20. So the average person is just sitting on the side thinking they're going to stack their bags somewhere around 20 and 30,000 dollars. Well, here's my first point i used to work for bear stearns back in the day and i've been around a lot of the big money and in our office we actually had a sign that said if the majority were right the majority would be rich so my point is the big money the wells the institutions know what you're thinking and if you understand how the market works it's not the average person it's the big smart money the institutional money, the wells that move a market. And they don't want us to come to the party. Because think about it, guys. If they're buying or selling, they got to be buying and selling to someone. Well, they're normally selling, buying and selling to the average person. They're not going to allow you to go to the party. They're not going to let you just go down and get another gift, which in my opinion, there's a gift every day that Bitcoin doesn't take off is a gift for all of us. But they're not going to let you just go in and pick up uh, Bitcoin at $20,000 and then take it to $100,000. they are not going to do it. That's my first point. The second point is Bitcoin is healthier than ever. Our hash rate is at all-time high. That's extremely positive, especially for the comfort zone of the, of the big money. The third thing is the off chain demand is bigger than the on chain demand that means we're shrinking the supply every day that is extremely bullish now the we're having the uh largest amount of wallets and new wallets ever that's extremely bullish now i know this war is bad uh with everything going on in the ukraine but one thing that's happened which is my fifth point that it's shined a light on the how important something like a Bitcoin is to the world. So most of the people watching this is from America, and they don't understand all the craziness that war creates around the world. But the world understands that, and they are all looking at Bitcoin. That is my fifth point, and that is extremely positive. Now, that being said, I hope I am crazy wrong. And the only way I feel that I can be wrong is if we have a black swan uh, event or the global economy collapses, we wake up, stock market's down 40, 50%, real estate starts to crash. Then, yes, I could be wrong. But actually, like I said, I hope I'm extremely wrong. I hope. Bitcoin crashes to 20,000, 15,000, 10,000. The lower the better, because I will be stacking my Satoshis at that time. Anyway, guys, that's all I got for you. Uh, if you found value in this, please hit that like button and subscribe. Smash that notification. I get out a lot of timely trades. And hey, let me know what you think in the comment section. I'm trying to build this community, I do read my comments. And hey, if you think I'm wrong, let me know. But remember, if the majority were right, the majority would be rich. That's all I got for you guys. 
come back, take care.